What's up guys, Billy here, and today I'm going to walk through my process when color correcting drone footage. In this video, I will be using Final Cut Pro, but I do hope to branch out to new softwares in the future. The color profile we will be looking at today is d -Cinelike, which gives off a very bright and unsaturated look, and is definitely in need of some color grading. The last video I made on color correction was using the non-color profile, which ultimately does not need any color correcting, but can be refined when you do so. If you're interested in taking a look at that video, I'll put the link in the description as well as in the top right corner. But if you're interested in color correcting decentralized footage, then you're in the right place. Stick around as I walk through my steps. Before we begin, and for those who may be wondering, here is a screenshot of what my camera settings were when I shot this test clip. These will vary depending on what the weather is like outside for you, but as long as you get your exposure value as close to zero as possible, it should look quite similar to mine. I also want to add a few other things. First of all, I did shoot this clip with an ND8 filter attached. Also, the white balance is set to sunny, and my style settings are zero across the board. Here again is the clip that I'll be using as my demonstration. The d -like color profile makes the image look bright and unsaturated, but with the power of color grading, we can clean it up and make it look beautiful. As we slide the color corrected image over top of the original one, we notice that the colors begin to pop and the outline of structures become more defined. Now let's jump over to the desktop so I can show you guys my process. So here we are inside of the Final Cut Pro editing software. I have two clips that are actually the same exact clip, except this first one is uncolor corrected, decent like footage, and the next one again is the same clip except fully color graded. So the way that we can go about color grading or color correcting our footage is to first click on the selected clip or the desired clip and hit command 6 to open up our color board. Inside of the color board we have three separate options. The first one is to change the color, the next one is to change the saturation, and the final one is to change the exposure. Now within color grading and within the effects we can actually create multiple color corrections and I like to create three separate color corrections, one for the exposure, one for the saturation, and one for the color. And I kind of like to do it in an order, first I'll do exposure, next I'll do saturation, and then finally I'll do color. So here we'll notice that we have the three separate color corrections, we have one, two, and three, and even if we click the back button we'll notice that we have the three color corrections as well as some sharpening that we'll add at the end. So hit command six to head back to the color board. And first, under our first color correction, I have exposure, with a global value of 2%, a shadow value of negative 3%, a midtone value of negative 14%, and a highlight value of negative 2%. Jumping over to saturation and the second color correction, I have a global value of 31%, a shadow value of 23%, and a midtone value of 8%, and then finally, a highlights value of negative 7%. Now finally, jumping over to the color, this is a little bit harder to explain. I was kind of going with a reddish vibe throughout the entire um, throughout the entire picture here. Uh, if you guys want, you can take a look at these settings, try to copy them over to your editing software. But just in a few seconds, I'm going to go over how you can actually download this color correction off of Mediafire. I'll provide a link down in the description. But again, we'll talk about that in just a few seconds. Now the final thing that I like to do after color correcting this whole image and pretty much coming out with this is add a little bit of sharpening. We can do this by clicking on effects in the bottom right corner and we'll notice that there's a bunch of different options. The simplest way to open it up that I've found is to just search for sharpen. All we need to do is click this, drag it on over, but I already have it added so I'm going to leave it in place. If we look at my sharpening value, I believe that it's set at 1.14. Honestly, it's nothing crazy. I like to keep it low because we'll notice that if we go up any higher, it starts to look a little bit weird. I think that it actually looks pretty terrible. I think that 1.14 really does look perfect. Anywhere between 1 and 2 will look good. Anything more will just look unnatural. So guys, anyway, that pretty much wraps up my process as far as color grading decent like footage. Now let's jump into how you can actually download this color correction or this color grade that I've made. The first thing that you need to do is head down to the description and find the Mediafire link that I've provided. Once you click on it, it should bring you to this page right here. Simply click on download and the file should download to the folder that you've selected as your downloads folder. Once you head over to that folder and open it up inside of your finder, you'll notice that the file is sitting there for you waiting to be uncompressed. Double click on it and a file will appear that will be the color preset. Drag it on over to your desktop for safekeeping and easy access. Next we'll click on go and then hit go to folder and all we we'll need to do is copy and paste this bit of text that I've also included in the description. Once you click ok it'll bring you to the final cut presets. 
All it's left to do is drag and drop and you should be good. To make sure that the color preset is there, make sure you restart your Final Cut Pro application if it's open, and there you are, you should be set. So guys, that about wraps this video up. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're new around here as I have been trying to upload daily. Also, leave me a comment down below letting me know what you think of this color correction that I've created. Make sure to give it a try as I really do think it takes decent like footage from unusable to usable. So guys, as I said, this video is coming to an end and as always, I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.